want to shift our focus to a demographic that is really at risk now, people who are elderly. For some context on the state's response on that front, KXAN's Tom Miller talked with Alana Rocha of the Texas Tribune. Today they discussed the threat facing seniors, particularly in nursing homes. Alana, seniors are particularly at risk when it comes to COVID-19. It's one of the biggest questions we're getting from viewers. Why won't the state tell the public the names of the nursing homes where people have tested positive for COVID-19? You know, we know state health officials are tracking uh, this data privately as far as, you know, how many and which nursing homes are seeing outbreaks. Uh, as far as why they're not disclosing it, it could be because, you know, of the 1,200 nursing home facilities that are licensed in this state, about 990 of them have histories of citations because of not practicing proper infectious disease control measures. And so, you know, that, that's a strong possibility as to why they're not disclosing this information. But, you know, while this, you know, nursing homes across the country are seeing outbreaks, Texas seems to be an outlier here in, in not disclosing those figures or the names of the facilities. And you mentioned this here, but before COVID-19, many of the state's nursing homes had those long records of citations for poor infection control. Are we right. seeing some of the outbreaks at any of those nursing homes that we can tell? Short answer is yes. Our Edgar Walters health reporter at the Tribune uh, did his own analysis in, in the absence of, uh, of state data and found about 320 uh, residents and staff at nursing homes were infected with COVID-19 uh, and of those about 18 uh, have died. But again, that's not the full picture and we don't know exactly uh, how many facilities um, have outbreaks. Again, that's just doing piecemeal work as far as calling different counties. We do know this is a particularly vulnerable population, both the elderly and people with chronic health problems. Are families of nursing home residents getting any sort of assurances from officials? State and federal health officials say they are inspecting uh, the facilities more that have histories of uh, citations and not taking proper measures uh, to mitigate uh, the spread of infectious disease. So that's some some peace of mind. But, you know, we know the governor also issued an order uh, last month limiting or banning, uh, I should say, all visitations at these facilities. So loved ones can't see for themselves. Uh, their best bet is to FaceTime uh, with their loved ones, which many are doing. Um, but yeah, that's about the extent of it. And Alana, you've singled out one issue that you might not think about that's really compounding the problem for nursing homes. Yeah, a UT professor said many of these nursing home staff are, are not paid well. And so many work at several facilities, which uh, you know, will only contribute to the spread of COVID-19. So they're saying that, you know, nursing homes should require that their staff only work at one nursing home, but again, they'd have to, to boost their pay in order to, to make it worth their time. So uh, there's no mandate to do that at this time. All right, Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.